good morning. So we did went with health and I first thought we got with mindset, but I'm not so sure, honestly. So I think it would be better to talk about money today. So, but let's first get started. There are three stages of financial independence. The financial stability part is the first part, which means basically you have your needs, everything covered. You even can allow yourself to go out, eat something, no problem. But still, it's on the low end. You are glad if you got something left from your salary at the end of the month. And then there comes the second one, financial independence, meaning you earn twice the amount of money you earn in stage one, the financial stability. Um, means you are making double and you can actually invest in something that make, gives you forward, makes you forward, like invest in something in your future or in your home, anything. But you got twice the amount of money you earned in stage one. That's basically it. And the third one is obviously financial freedom, meaning you earn 10 the time, 10 times more than you earn on stage one. Now you're making far more money than you can spend. And I know that sentence seems, yeah, you can never spend enough money, <laughs> some people might say, but now you can actually take care of other people needs and money is never an issue. So let's get to how you can get to these three stages. And there are different opportunities you can take on. Of course, you can minimize what you need, lower rent, lower prices. But even there, there is a limit to how to do this. So let me give you some help here. And what I'm not saying is get a better job, which takes more of your lifetime, which no one can give you a back. I'm saying we look at the normal structure. The normal structure is you get a job, to, in order to get to the job, you have to have a car or use public traffic, which still costs money. And then after you've done your job, you still need to work out. So you buy a gym membership. So there is the transportation, the sports, and still not enough time. But all that has to be provided still to get the new job running so you see what I'm getting probably there's all these three things which has to be done and still you you got money yeah but what you have got left so how about you get a bike a bike is a one-time investment in order to get to the job that way you did exercise for no money, you got to a job for still no money. Okay, one time investment, but still, it doesn't cost you monthly. And you have a, your job then. How about make it part time? Then you've got more time for yourself, for your hobbies, or for your loved ones, or for your family. This is the time that no one can give you back, so be careful about it. And you might say, oh, there are monthly expenses I have to pay. I don't know how to downsize it. Then I suggest you get some inspiration by the FIRE movement. The FIRE movement was founded um, after the crisis in order to retire early. Like um, their mojo is like saving enough money so they can retire early. Financial independence retirement early that's where fire comes in and obviously I love my job but I took inspiration by that movement because there are some pretty good advice there first of all they keep track of their expenses and have a money plan and honestly whether you like the movement or not this is something everyone should have and should provide please 
I mean, keeping track on your money so you know where it's flowing, you know how much you spend. It's essential. But the media here in Germany, um, when they picture um, the fire movement, they picture like people who save and save and save for a life they want to achieve, but they don't actually live. Like, except for saving nothing's in their mind, which I think is really unfair because that's not true. Because the question is, what do you really need in order to get gain fulfillment or to get better at what you want to achieve? For example, do you really need Netflix? Does Netflix provide or guarantee that you will fulfill your dreams and your wishes? Really? And I'm not bashing Netflix. It's about spending and saving. And the thing is, what do you want to spend and what do you want to save? And by the way, where do you want to invest yourself? One thing you shouldn't keep your money on is investing in yourself. I'm not meaning a haircut, obviously, but like courses, coaches, books, things that gain uh, knowledge in order to get you where you want to be. And I did some investments. Uh, I invested around 3000, which wasn't a wise investment, I'm honest with you, but I spent 900 and that was basically the best investment in a course that I could ever have because I'm still learning and, I'm, and that course keeps me going. So it's not, I'm not saying spend all your money on investments, but invest wisely. Always ask yourself, is that investment getting you further? in what you want to achieve. And please don't cut your cost on food because like I said in the video, I am linking below that health and food goes one in hand, one hand. So when you provide yourself with healthy food, it keeps you long, going in the long run, of course. So let's sum up this money mindset. Get a money plan. Track your expenses, go over them, think of them clearly, if you need them or if you don't, and then you got your basic needs. Second, value your lifetime. Because trust me, when you die at the end of the day, you don't think, oh, I should have worked more, my boss would be really happy and my bank account would be really happy. You think about the time with your family, with your loved ones, with what you love and organize that time wisely in order that you not just don't work or exercise. We really organize, balance the time, work-life balance, that work doesn't come from nothing. And third and lastly, invest wisely. And I'm not saying buy all the courses, by all means, no. First, check your basic knowledge, what you already have, and then try it out. And if you come on some mistakes, make some research to get over them. If your research doesn't cover your mistakes, then think of a basic course. But of course, if you say, I've got no idea of video editing, then by all means, just buy a basic course. But then, be wisely, just don't buy any basic course. Search for someone who you say, oh, that guy or that girl or that person has knowledge about it. I'm gonna buy from that one. And even still, as you've come for, I myself have come for, but I'm still learning from, there's every new development out there and you need to, there you go, you too, but you should, Try it out, grow some more knowledge, get over it. And of course, some people are like, okay, that system worked back then and that system goes gonna work forever. That's no way. The only thing which is reliable is change. So get yourself on 
and I hope this is why it's called this YouTube channel is here is to get you going to let me be your guide to help you get out of 9 to 5 and get your dreams going. And that's why I want to make this channel or why I do this channel is because I think there's so less knowledge about how to break out and I want to be the one who provides you with that. So, if this video has given you some insight, or if not, then please type it down in the comments. Make it a like, I would very much appreciate it. And when you make a follow, make sure to click the bell twice so you get, you'll notice when I upload a video, really, not when the algorithm thinks, oh, that should be interesting, but really, then no. Thank you very much for watching and see you next Sunday.